Hello guys and gals, this is Shane Giese here with Street Volkswagen in Amarillo, Texas for another segment of Leasing with Giese. Last three segments we've dealt with the objections we run into when people are looking at leasing a car. So let's talk about the fourth objection I run into. I've had bad experiences with leases. My parents had bad experiences with leases. My parents told me, don't lease a car. It's a bad, bad thing. I would have to agree with them in the past. What the leasing companies used to do in the past were they used to have open-end leases. Today, what we have, we have what are called closed-end leases. Now, let's talk about the two. Open-end leases, they're bad. The problem with open-end leases is they determine a payment based on anticipated value for the vehicle and anticipated future value. Now, you have to understand, years ago, we didn't have all the information at our fingertips that we do now. So it was really harder for them to determine a future value for a vehicle. However, no guaranteed residual value means you weren't sure what that car was gonna be worth at the end of the lease. So at the end of the lease, you decide you wanna turn in the lease, the balance will be determined by the market. And most of the time, what that meant was a vehicle was sent to an auction and whatever the auction paid for the car, that's what the value was. And if you owed more than what the auction price was, you owed that money. Pretty simple, open in leases. Again, they're bad. Let's talk about closed in leases. Closed in leases are great. The reason being is because you have a guaranteed residual value at the end of your lease period. What that says is let's say on our Passat, the value of the vehicle at the lease end is $9,959. That's a guaranteed residual value. If the value is greater than the $9,959, that's your equity and that's your money. If the vehicle is less than, because let's say you got into an accident, it has a bad car fax, the market's changed, we've come out with a car that runs on water and gets 100 miles to the gallon on water. If the value is worth less than the guaranteed residual value, you're pretty much off the hook. So you won't owe that. Now, if you're buying that car and you came to the end of the term or end of a four year term, you decide you want to trade out or move away from that vehicle. If the value is worth less than what you owe, you're still on the hook. That's where the leasing gives you protection. It gives you a guaranteed residual value so you know what to expect at the end. You're controlling the market value of your vehicle through the lease, as we said before. So real quick, Open-end leases, bad. Keep in mind, some companies still do open-end leases, so be careful when you're looking at your leasing if it's an open-end or closed-end leases. And feel free to give me a call anytime. I'll answer any questions you have, whether you're leasing from me or leasing from somebody else. Again, this is Shane Giese with Street Volkswagen in Amarillo, Texas. Stay tuned for our next segment. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to call me or leave comments in the comment section. Thanks and have a wonderful day.